And that's one of the things that motivated me to do all of this, is I felt there was a need to not only pay back to the chiropractic profession and all that it's given me, but also to further the profession. And that's what's so important to me. It's not just about me. This isn't about this. This is about moving this profession to a, a higher level, a higher level of respect, a higher level of capability to change the world. We know it's there. We've been told it all along. We just didn't understand how. Now we know how. I'm just really curious of where you're going to take this to the next level. What's, what are we going to be looking at? How are we going to be involved at a higher level of energy in the body and what measurements are we going to use? That's your field. My field is done. My goal is to keep bringing the rest of the, the profession to this level and then let you guys take it to the next level. And I know it's in great hands. This was a, this was a, a great combination and I'm just so glad that you saw that there was a possibility. You said, I just need some way to measure. Wait a minute. So I'll, I'll always be there. I'll always be behind you and support you guys and, and love what you're doing. And I just am really proud of you. So, rethinking priorities, spine focus, and structural foundation. Chiropractic has always said, well, we're neurological. No, you're not. If you're spine based, ah, that's structural. That's not neurological. Vertebral subluxation as a, as a foundation is structural. Brain focus is cause foundation that we've bragged about forever, talking about we deal with the cause, not the symptoms. Horse patooties. The vertebral subluxation is a symptom, and if you're using that as your basis of chiropractic, you're a symptom-based profession. Function governs structure, structure affects function. We've had a little discussion with Dr. Steve Hoffman, who I love dearly. Hey, which priority has the most potential to address the cause and treat the result? That's a stupid question, right? But what's the answer? I want you all to say it. Treat the cause. Treat the cause. Awesome. Remember that when you go back in your office and every dialogue that you use doesn't address treating the cause, addressing the brain, it's actually pulling the profession backwards and pulling your potential backwards. Universal influences, innate subconscious deals with that all the time. Innate neurological responses, that's the next level down. That creates biochemical and mechanical changes. We're still dealing with subconscious levels. It's going on as we're sitting in that chair listening to this. All that stuff is happening and you're not even aware of it. It creates habitual patterning going on and that's where our problems really start. And that reduces, reduces our ability to adapt to our environment and that causes conscious awareness because when it finally gets to the point where we can no longer adapt, the brain reaches into the conscious mind and said, listen you idiot, you're not paying attention to me, I'm giving you pain. I'm giving you a sign or a symptom to tell you that I'm in trouble in here. So medicine intervenes at that point. Medicine can't do a darn thing above this. We play up here. A single day. I said eight. It's a great poster. Okay, so the power of focus, and that's what we've been asking you this whole time. And when you focus, I want you to focus on the rest of the profession. Your, your friends that you're doing chiropractic, get them involved. Call them to your office and put them on the Neuro Infinity. Get them out to the next program he's put on. The power of focus. The light bulb that's here puts out a diffuse energy, and it only covers a small area. It's not very powerful, it lights in just a little area. But if we can focus, if we can take this profession and focus this profession totally, 100% on the, the effect of chiropractic on the brain, I'll tell you what, we have a laser that can pierce the universe. It can go to Mars and back. That's what we need to be doing. So my charge to you is, it's not over. You're the next ones up. Take the torch, support these guys, support what we're doing here as a movement and let's get everybody involved.